If you have a set of data that involves numbers and dates, a graph would be a great way to present the variation of those numbers over the dates and Storyline.js exists for that purpose. All we need to do to make a graph with Storyline.js is to create a Google spreadsheet. The spreadsheet can have any number of columns. The most important part though is that it must contain at least two columns, one that represents the dates and the other to represent the numbers. So in this example, I'll be creating a spreadsheet of four columns. Again, I could add more columns because I'll be going to choose which one of them I want to use to build the graph eventually. As I said, the only required fields to fill are the date, which is year in this case, and the numbers, which is exoplanets discovered. The rest are skippable. So now that we have the spreadsheet ready, we need to publish it. That said, go to File, Publish to the Web, hit Publish, then OK and then grab the link from the address bar, not from the box. Now we need to go to the Storyline Builder on their website, paste the link and hit the load button. The next step we need to do is to fill the form to make the library pick the right data from the spreadsheet. Again, since we can have several columns in the spreadsheet, the Storyline Builder needs to know which of them to use to trace the graph and display the text and titles on the cards. That done, press Create Storyline. And there we go, we can see a preview of the graph before we proceed to embed it. Finally, we need to copy the generated code and simply paste it in the platform we are using. It could be a Medium or a WordPress post or a manually created web page. And there we have it. Notice that the points which represent the rows that don't have a description and an example don't have cards. Unfortunately, unlike Timeline.js, Storyline.js doesn't accept manual data injection from JSON, even though there is a conversion of the spreadsheet into JSON format before displaying the data behind the scenes. That being said, you can find the source code of the library on GitHub in case you want to update it in order to achieve that. You'll find the link in the description below. And this is it for this video, so make sure to subscribe and I will see you in the next one.